I'm sorry you're having such a bad day at school. How about I give you a makeover? I can't believe this. I've become the popular girl. Sorry, Sarah. You can't sit with us. Why don't you go sit with your new friends? I'm trying to get dinner ready because Goldie should be home from school in just a couple of minutes. And I'm really hoping she had a good time. I'm going to make her favorite some pasta. She loves pasta lately. And I found a new recipe. Oh, that must be her. She probably forgot her keys again. Hi. How was school today, Goldie? How was your day? Did you tell your friends you have a new bedroom? Did you invite them over for a sleepover this weekend? It was another great day at school. Not, I still have no friends and nobody cared about my new room. Not even the guy that like always asked me to give him my dessert at lunch. He didn't even care about it. And quite honestly, I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to play with my little sister. Oh, wait, Goldie. She's actually taking a nap right now, so we can't wake her up, but she'll be really cranky. But I was going to make you your favorite pasta for dinner. I'm not even hungry, thanks, Titi. Oh, there is nothing worse for a parent than to see your kid suffering, especially at school. And with friends, kids can be really cruel, you know? Oh, let's go check up on Goldie. I feel so bad. Like, what can I even do to help her? Goldie, are you alright? I'm so sorry you're having a hard time at school. It's not even that it's a hard time. It's just lonely. You know, I used to be the, the life of the party. The, the light of the light show. The sprinkled on the cupcake. And now I don't have anyone to really be friends with or talk to. And no one really wants to talk to me. And my only bestie Sarah is like, want to talk about boys and dating. And I don't know what else to do. I just feel like I don't belong. I completely understand you. I know it's hard when friends, you know, grow apart and you feel lonely in a new place. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. What if we do something fun, something different? Why don't we give you like a little makeover? Play around with a new hairstyle, maybe get you a new outfit. You know, I you've always wanted to kind of change things up a little bit. Are you serious, Titi? I think that's a really great idea. Sometimes it's kind of fun to like do a different hairstyle or just try a different like vibe in your outfit. I'm so glad you think it's a good idea. We can drop off Baby Bloxy with Grandma and then we can go to the hair salon and pick out a new outfit. But, but Titi, you said that Grandma wasn't like a good influence or role model for Baby Bloxy for her development and for her well-being. Grandma can be a little crazy, but she loves you guys very much. And we can make an exception for this time. So we're here. Wow, this place is fancy schmancy. Look at her pretty hair. I know, she probably just came out of the salon. She's so pretty. She's a fan. Oh, my friend, I have a friend. Oh, hi, thank you. You are so pretty. Your hair is gorgeous. I can't tell her her hair is pretty is blocking it. Okay, I told her in like a different way. <laughs> okay, Goldie, so let's go inside and we'll work some magic and get you some hairstyles. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm real nervous. Oh, this is pretty, but it looks so much like Sarah's. I like the hat, but no, I'm not a French girl. No, can't see anything. I'll trip and fall. Okay, okay, well, how about this one? No, not really. How about we go for a massage? This is kind of stressing me out. Well, they have like a bunch of other things to do at the spa. They have like a massage, like the mud bath. Do you want to try those things before we continue? Sure. How is your massage? Okay, Titi, listen up. I don't know about your skills as a stylist and I don't know if you haven't noticed, but I have no hair! Titi, I can't go to school like this with no hair. You gotta do something about it. You gotta fix it. I will fix it. Don't worry. Relax. How about you come over here and I'll wash your scalp a little bit and then we'll, we'll figure out a hairstyle. I want hair like that, girl. It's so pretty. Okay, well, if you want me to fix your hair, you gotta get out of the mud bath. Fine. Don't worry, Goldie. I promise we will find the perfect hairstyle for you. Do you trust me? I trusted you and now I have no hair. Come on, take a seat. I'll figure something out. You see, you were so worried. I told you I would fix your hair. 
I love my new hair. It's so pretty. It's like mermaid waves, I think it's called. And I feel, I feel like a, I just feel so confident. I love that you love your hair, Goldie. I mean, it's just a little different hairstyle. You can always go back to your pigtails whenever you want. I know. I'm feeling really special and fashionable. Mm -hmm. You can take my picture if you want. <laughs> You can take a couple of pictures so I can send Granny and Boxy. Granny's gonna love my new look. <laughs> hey, but we're not done yet. We still have to choose a outfit. And I have something perfect in my closet I think you're going to love. I can wear some of your clothes? Yes, come on. I have a really cute outfit that I think you are going to love as soon as you wear it. Let me see. I hope it's pink. I know you know I really like pink. Okay, go try it on. Are you ready? Almost. All right, let's see it. Oh, I love it. Do you like it? It's so pretty. It's still me, but a little bit different. I think it looks great. Look at me. I'm feeling pretty fabulous. Look at my hair bouncing around. I look like practically a teenager. I look like practically a TikTok star or something. Well, you look like yourself, just in a different way. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to go to school and show my friends my brand new look. Hey guys, if you like Goldie's new look, make sure to hit that like button or tell us down in the comments. I can't wait to go to school and show everyone my new look tomorrow. Hi! Hi there! Oh my goodness, everybody likes my new look! Hi! Yeah, I'm Goldie, hi! I can't believe this! People really like my new look and I'm making so many new friends! I, I can't believe it! Do you like my new look too? They actually really like it and people are wanting to be my friend! Somebody asked me to sit at lunch with them today! This is amazing! Oh my goodness! Oh, I think there's Sarah! There's Sarah over there. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hi, where's Goldie? What is everyone doing here? Um, duh, Sarah, it's me, Goldie. Who else did you think it was? Hi, where is she? Does she not recognize me, silly head? It's me, Goldie, hello. I just got a new look. What? Oh, I think, who are you? Come on, Sarah, it's me. Don't you like my new style? All my new friends do. Who are all these people? Oh, these are my new friends. That's what that's who they are. I made a bunch of new friends. That friend just said she looks so nice with her new look. People are really liking my new style. Oh, gotta go to class. Even though I look fabulous, don't want to be late. It's lunchtime, my favorite part of the day. Am I right? I'm so hungry. And I'm gonna sit with some of my new friends today at lunch. I don't have to sit all by myself anymore. Mmm, my favorite. Looks like this day is just getting better and better. Hi guys, wanna sit down over here and eat lunch together? Cool. Oh, hi Sarah. This is so yummy. It's so nice to have friends to sit with. Oh, Sarah asked me if she can sit. Um, well, Sarah, uh, why don't you go sit with... How about you go sit with your new friend, Sarah? Remember them? The ones that you were hanging out with and I had to sit up on myself. Plus, I think this table is going to get full pretty quickly. But I wanted to sit with you, she said. Well, uh, maybe tomorrow, Sarah. Uh, I'm kind of busy with my new friends right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sarah, but I'm kind of busy with my new best friend at the moment. But we'll talk later. Bye, see ya! Yeah, this is so good. You can try the chicken nuggets. I had such a great day. I can't wait to tell TT. I'm home. Hey, Goldie. How was your day? Tell me everything. Did your friends like your new look? Did Sarah like it? Tell me everything. Yeah, everyone liked it. They were like, whoa, Goldie, I like your hair. I like your style. You look so nice. And I couldn't believe it. I made so many new friends and it was a really good day. It was a good idea, Titi. Thanks. I'm so happy. And I sat with like five different new friends at lunch. It was really fun. So did you get to know all your new friends? Did you tell them about your favorite hobbies? What you like to do for fun? What your favorite books are? No, not really. Nobody really asked me about 
about anything like that about me. They just told me they liked my hair and my outfit. And they asked me where I could get the same outfit. It was really fun. Hmm. Um, uh, but what about Sarah? Did she like your new look? Well, Sarah tried to kind of talk to me, but I was a little busy talking to all my new friends. And now that I think about it, maybe I was a little rude. She tried to stay with me at lunchtime, and I told her that I was busy with my new best friends to go stay with her friends, the ones she ignored me for. Goldie, that's not nice. You know how that made you feel. That made you feel really sad. And now you're doing it to Sarah? Look, friends can argue and, and fight sometimes, disagree, but Sarah was your best friend. She knew you from the start. That's not the right way to treat a friend. Oh, you're right, Titi. I feel really bad about it now. That's not who I am. That's not my personality. I think you owe her an apology, Goldie. Look, I think you should pick up the phone and call Sarah right now. Tell her you're sorry. I'm sure she feels pretty bad about this, too. Yes, Titi, but... Before I call her, I want to do something really quick. I've been really thinking about this, and this new look is nice and all, but it's, it's changing who I am. And that's not who Goldie is. Much better. I realize that no matter what you look like on the outside, if people don't like you for who you really are, then all that doesn't even matter. I want people to like me for me, not because I have a fancy outfit and fancy hair. I want people to like me for being myself. And I think you're perfect just the way you are. Sarah, do you want to come over? We need to talk. Goldie, you're a really good friend. I am so proud of you. I'm going to put Bloxy to sleep. Okay. Good luck with Sarah. I'm a little nervous. Maybe some ice cream to calm my nerves. Yeah, that's a little better. Mm. Oh, that must be Sarah. Okay, let's open the door and just, just be yourself. She's your best friend. Sarah, hi. Um, hi, Sarah. Um... Well, hi, Gold. Uh, come in, please, come in. Um, I don't want, I'm a little nervous. So I kind of feel bad. What do you mean? I feel bad too. Uh, would you like some ice cream? I'm sorry, Sarah, that I acted that way today. And I told you to go sit with your new friends during lunchtime and I ignored you. And quite frankly, I was pretty mean to you, Sarah. I, I don't want to be mean to you. You're my best friend. But you kind of did hurt my feelings on the first day of school. You were sorry you feel bad about the first day too? Well, I guess we all made mistakes. These people are not even fun like you. Oh, stop it, Sarah. We're besties. Don't ever forget that. Sometimes we go through little bumps. I miss us being best friends. Well, me too. Like the good old days in the playground, right when Titi forgets to pick me up from soccer. <laughs> I love you, Sarah. We're best friends forever. Sarah, you don't really like me for me because you didn't even notice I changed my look back. Yeah, you look better this way, much comfier. Mm-hmm. Best friends forever. Let's do our best friend stand. Oh, yeah, and post. And post. Struggle post for the gram, for the TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. I'm so glad we talked it out, Sarah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go see my new room? I deck well, Titi decorated my whole new bedroom. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Like the good old days, I agree. Titi said we can have a sleepover, too. But let me show you my room. I think you're going to love it. It is really cool. And a little more grown. Come on. Do you like my room? Yay. Do I want to play Among Us? I've never done it before, but I see everybody's doing it. Let's play. Can you help me? All I know is we need to find imposters. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, sometimes our friends can hurt our feelings and make mistakes, but we're all humans. It's important to talk about our feelings and talk things out. And it's always good to forgive. Thanks for watching. Okay, Sarah, this game is crazy.